there is, uh, appears to be a showdown at the Electoral Commission where Iyoko officials assisted by armed policemen have had to evict the Deputy Commissioner of the Commission, Georgina Opokua Mankwa. Latif Idris is standing by with the very fine details. Hello, Latif. Latif, if you can hear me, tell us what's happening at the Electoral Commission now. Yeah, Gifty, if you can hear me, there is drama here at the Electoral Commission, I can tell you that for a fact. Um, earlier this morning, what we've gathered here on the ground is that Madam Georgina Poku reported to work. And Gifty, before we proceed to the point about Madam Georgina Poku reporting to work, we know she's been on leave mm. for the past six months. Following all of this has to do with the endowment fund controversy of the Electoral Commission uh, that Yoko weighed in and started investigating. That brought about the directive that Madam Georgina Poku proceed on leave whilst investigation continues. Now, it's been about six months since that directive was issued, and she felt that upon consultation with her lawyers, that Yoko had no mandate writing to her, asking her to proceed on leave. So today she reported to work, and then, lo and behold, we had members from Yoko. Two of them showed up in the morning, asked her to move out of her office. She moved out briefly for a meeting and then returned only for these members of Yoko to storm the office. This time around, not these two members of Yoko, but with the executive director of Yoko himself, plus five clothed police personnel who are armed, I must say, as I speak with you now, Gifty, these five armed police personnel are standing in the office of Madame Georgino Poku with their guns, uh, plus the three other Yoko members with the executive director, all of them standing in the office of Madam Georgina Opoku, who has defied the current directive, asking her to leave her office because they want to put it under lock. She said she's not moving an inch until it's 5 p.m., which is the official time that she closes from work. These mm -hmm. are not the only members of Yoko and police who have stormed the EC headquarters. If they, we have dozens of them stationed at the gates of the Electoral Commission. And it's interesting why Yoko is taking the stand with Madame Georgina Poku. But, Georgino but, Poco, but, but Latif, she's... where is she at the moment? You indicated that she stepped out of her office briefly before yeah. the Yoko took over. Where is she no, at the moment? No, no, Gifty. She returned to her office, then Yoko followed up. So as I speak with you now, Gifty, she is sitting in her seat okay. behind her desk in her office on the second floor okay. of the Electoral Commission headquarters. Mm. And these personnel from, uh, from Yoko and the police service are standing on her in her office, asking her to leave her office. She has defied that directive, staying put in her chair and saying that until it's five, which is the official time she closes from work, she is not moving an inch mm. 50. And we so tried, give us a, mm -hmm. paint to us a mental picture, Latif. She's sitting mm -hmm. down. The officials or the officials from um, the police service as well mm -hmm. as the Iyoko are standing by with their, of course, their armed, and mm -hmm. they're asking her to move, and she's saying, I'm not moving. Or it, it, it sounds pretty cool. Is it cool or is it a bit more chaotic? L help us uh, to uh, for, for, see for what now, you see now. It, it has not got into the chaotic state yet, because as we speak, uh, Iyoko and the police have not, have not, I must say that, they've not applied any force to get Madam Georgina out of the office for now. Uh, but the mere fact that gives to these men, you are in your office and you have members from the police service armed standing in your office asking you to leave the office. In the midst of all of this gifty, I went straight to Madam Georgina Poku and asked her, Madam, do you feel intimidated with these men standing in your office her response was, no, she doesn't feel intimidated, but she feels it is absolutely not right for these men to storm her office in the manner in which they did it, Gifty. Mm. So obviously she's not leaving. Tell us about the atmosphere this has created at the Electoral commi uh, Commission. Uh, it is interesting, Gifty. Now, we have almost all the workers of the Electoral Commission downstairs. I can see lots of them in groups having conversation and obviously... It has to do with what is going on in the office of the deputy chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Madam Georgina Ofoku. Uh, you will find them in groups having, I mean, that conversation. And up there in her office, we have 
almost all the members on that floor moving to her office, uh, the secretary's office, I must say, packed there, watching what is happening in there. And it's very interestingly, Gifty, I approached the executive director of Yoko and asked him, sir, why have you taken this stand? I mean, storming the office of, of uh, Madam Georgino Poco in the manner in which you did. He only waved at me and signaling that he wouldn't comment on the matter. Uh, and so for the perspective of Yoko, they have not commented on the matter as at now. Mm. All they are waiting for is for Madam Georgino Poku to leave the office so they can put it under key. So what is going to happen, Gifty, is that tomorrow, if Madam Georgino Poku comes to work, her office will be under lock and key. And she has vowed that she is going to break it down if she finds any lock at the door come tomorrow, Gifty. Mm, that's a very interesting times. Are you able to hear any of the conversations that the staff there are having? Um, you know, they're spread all over the place uh, at the uh, down or the main floor of the Electoral Commission headquarters. Uh, so you can't pick, pick bits and pieces of information. Mm. Uh, but yes, as I'm going to move straight to move around with the staff who are, I can see a lot of them gifted, right. all of them having their conversation. And are like they, I said, I suspect to, that they have to do with Are they happy to speak with you, Latif? Uh, we, we will try and get reaction from members of, of the mm. Electoral Commission here to find out what they make of all of this um, in storm by members of Yoko. Right. And, and whilst you're at it, do we mm. know whether or not the boss, Charlotte or say, is around or any of the deputies? Uh, we haven't found out yet, uh, but we know that Madam Charlotte say has also been at post. And so if she reported to work today, uh, one can hazard a guess and say, yes, she is still at post. But that's not what, that's something we haven't found out as of now. Again, we're going to do that check and then come up with the latest or the development here at the Electoral Commission headquarters, Gifty. Okay, I take it as we speak that uh, Madame Georgina Poku is sit seated in her seat. She's still, she is still, she, she stays is still put, there. Gifty. And the she's, police personnel, right, and the police personnel are standing by. It appears exactly, they're Gifty. all waiting, it appears we they're wait. all waiting for five when, he's, when, when Ex she closes. Exactly, we're waiting for you. You can take the whole day. If it is five years, we are here, we are standing and until it's five, you definitely leave the office and we are going to put it under key, I'm sure. I mean, this is what is running through the heads of Iyoko and the police personnel who are gathered here in the office of the Electoral Commission Gifty. Right. Thank you very much for that information. Is there any other thing we need to know, Latif, that perhaps I haven't asked? Um, the only thing is that Gifty, prior to the uh, reinforcement, if I can use that word, because they came, initially there were just two of the Yoko members until they went back to their office with a bus and brought in a good number of them who are, I mean, some of them stationed at the main gate of the headquarters of the Electoral Commission. Mm. And so we do not know if they would bring in much more men from Yoko, as it were. And I must say, they are dealing with just one woman. So bringing in reinforcement, I mean, it's interesting. But this are intelligence work, and we don't know why they're trying to beef up right. uh, men from Yoko as they have okay. done. So, yes, okay. there hasn't been much of uh, anything we've missed out on this report, Gifty. Very well, Latif. We'll come back to you as and when. I'm sure that by five, uh, she'll decide to leave, as she has said, and we'll see yeah. how that goes down as well. Latif Idris coming to us live uh, from the headquarters of the Electoral Commission, where we understand that the Yoko officials, assisted by armed policemen, have uh, been engaged in some kind of a showdown involving uh, the Deputy Commissioner for the uh, Commission, uh, Georgina Opoku Amankwa, as you'd recall. And as Latif did say, she's been on leave for the past six months over the EC Staff Endowment Fund, some irregularities that uh, was being investigated by Iyoko. Well, her position is that Iyoko has no mandate to ask her to step aside. She's threatening to break down the office if the Iyoko keeps it under lock and key, as they have for the past time that she's been away. I will bring you more on that in our subsequent bulletin.